We're back on Access Carolina. The Greenville Zoo has a brand new education ambassador, and we are thrilled to introduce him right now. This is Coco, the three-banded armadillo here, um, along with Maxine Van Dam from the Greenville Zoo. And this is incredible. Everybody is so fascinated by this animal. Uh, thank you for bringing him. Thank you for having us. Um, Coco's pretty new to the zoo, so we're excited to have the upstate meet him. Yeah, and, and I understand he's settling in well. He's getting to know the zookeepers, the education staff. Tell us a little bit about his story. Um, so he's only been at the Greenville Zoo for about a couple weeks now. So um, we actually had a reach out about a year ago saying that we were looking for an ambassador armadillo and the Padawami Zoo actually contacted us from South Bend, Indiana. We had a partnership with them already. Our Amr Leopard Anastasia went up to their zoo for the species survival plan we have for them. And we said, well, they have an armadillo. So while they got to have our leopard up there for our species survival plan helping them, increase their species genetic diversity, we're able to have an armadillo come and educate students in the upstate. And it's a fascinating education because he's not from around here. He's different than other armadillos that would be closer, but shows how, I mean, the way he moves and the way he defends himself. So if you've seen armadillos around the Carolina area, you're usually going to be seeing the nine banded armadillos. Now Coco here, he is a three banded armadillo. So there's about 20 different species of them, um, but these guys are one of the two that can roll completely up in a ball. I'll see if he would like to. Right now he's very active and excited, so that's why you'll see sometimes he does a little bit of a lift up. Um, but that shell is his main protection that he has. Um, it's actually called an osteoderm. So my friends at home, if you would like to know what he would feel like, you can actually feel your own fingernail. It's made out of the same keratin that your fingernails are made out of. And just like how we all have unique fingerprints, the type of osteoderm that he has and those patterns are unique to him. And if you're a cougar trying to get at him and your paw goes in the wrong place, he can crunch it yes, down. Yes, he doesn't have a lot of defenses despite um, other than his defensive armor. So uh, jaguars are their main predators in the wild and they'll wait for them to come up really close and they'll actually be sniffing and then they will do that close up motion. And it's kind of like using the ability to pinch a jaguar's nose um, if they get into one of those you know, real armadillo yeah. emergency type situations. Otherwise, they're gonna rely on their defensive measures and their camouflage so they can avoid meeting the jaguars as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, but their main issues that they're facing right now is habitat destruction. So um, while jaguars, of course, are a predator of them, uh, the fragmentation of their habitat is really what's affecting them the most, so. Well, as you've got him around uh, kids and everybody's meeting him, uh, I, they're learning everything about him. Anything else that's just fascinating about the way he moves, eats, lives. Um, so the way that he eats is really interesting. Uh, their closest relatives are actually giant ant eaters. So mm -hmm. um, the food that he likes to eat is uh, an insectivore diet. So ants and termites. Luckily for us at the Greenville Zoo, um, we don't have to take care of a lot of ants and termites. We actually have a commercial diet um, that's produced. So this actually is what we feed our ant eater. And it's also what we feed our armadillo. So as the same vitamins and minerals that a termite or an ant would have, and we're able to produce it for them. And then he also so he eats roots and shoots. Okay. I will say he has a pretty spoiled life at the yeah, zoo. Yeah, he so seems happy. He you brought him in in a pet carrier and he has a whole pack and play. So he's yes. he's doing well. Um, people want to check him out as an ambassador. The zoo's education programs are the place. What, what is his role as ambassador? What, what are the programs involving? So he's supposed to represent his species. So he's able to teach people about his species as a whole. And a lot of times when you get to interact with an animal up close, just as we've seen today here, um, it gives us a better understanding of them. And the education program that we have at the zoo are through our field trips, they're through our zoomobiles where we bring the zoo to you, as well as our family programs or behind the scenes tours. We are in the works to make an encounter based program where we can have people come around in 2023 to meet our ambassador animals as an a la carte encounter, but that's in the works. So Fantastic. we'll be excited to have that. Well, there's always soon. a new update there, a new reason to visit the zoo. And I know before we go, uh, Boo in the Zoo is coming up. Anything on tap this year you'd want to point out before yes, we go? So uh, it's actually our Prisma's Boo in the Zoo's 36th year. Wow. Um, we have the ability to get your tickets online. Come and see us. Um, you also get the chance to see some of our animals at nighttime as well. Um, so it's a great time to come out with friends and family, do some trick-or-treating, and get an educational experience at the same time. Well, Maxine, it has been an absolute honor for to have you here. And Coco, um, thank you so much for bringing them. And meteorologist Catherine Noel wasn't going to miss an opportunity to be on set with an armadillo. Um, I am Coco's number one fan. Yeah. I'm in love. Um, he's just so cool. Would you yeah. like to pet him? Before? Would I? Of yeah. Where do I? What do I do? Just on like... the back of his shell, you'll feel that it's kind of hard, and he's a mammal. Oh. <laughs> he said that's and then he, that's how he, he's ready to say hello when he pops he up like that. Yeah, like ready to go. He's ready to run around and move. He's like, I'm excited. Let's go, guys. He's a fan of you too. <laughs> I I love him.